What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to import your own VST plugins into both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Basically, VST are audio plugin effects that you can download off of the internet and use in your digital audio workstations. If I simply fire up Adobe Audition 2021 and start recording myself a very simple voice track over here, in order to import an audio effect onto this, all you have to do is either use the effects menu at the very top and choose the VST or VST3 menu, or do it down here in the effects rack to apply multiple at once and adjust them as you're going. But let's say you don't see your effect under these over here. All you have to do is click the effects menu at the very top, then click audio plugin manager. After doing that, you'll see a new window on your screen. Simply click scan for plugins and it'll search these folders listed above for plugins that can work with the program. Anything that's not going to work will show as such and you have the opportunity to reload it if you edit the plugin itself. I've got all of my plugins here and I can now use them in the program. If you want to add more from different folders, you can simply click add and then you can add a folder to the list up here. Then after you've imported it here, you should be able to head into any of the effects menus and pick out your VST or VST3 from the menus over here. It's super simple. And of course, works exactly as you'd expect. What about Premiere Pro? Well, Premiere Pro is very similar. You can, of course, apply effects from the effects window over here, and you'll find your VSTs under audio effects, VST, and VST3. But what happens if your plugins aren't showing up here? Well, simply click Edit in the top left, Preferences, and then Audio. Inside of this audio window, click Audio Plugin Manager at the very bottom, and once again, you'll see this familiar page over here. You can add folders, scan for available plugins, enable, disable all of them, etc., etc. Really useful. Simply click OK and OK once again, then you'll notice your effects window reloads, allowing you to add new audio effects that you've added and installed. All you have to do is make sure that the DLL or VST files are simply located in those folders we defined earlier in the audio plugin section of whatever program. It's super simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!